Termites destroy nearly a half a million houses per year, causing $5 billion worth of damage every year here in the United States. Now, with a VA mortgage, there is so much uncertainty and miseducation when it comes to termite repairs, who can pay them, who can pay for the report. Now, over 30 states here in the United States require a pest inspection. Now, nine of those states allow the actual veteran to pay for that termite inspection. Those nine states are Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, Oklahoma, and Texas. Those nine states, not only do they require a termite report, but they also allow the veteran to pay for that report. VA's goal is to deliver a move-in ready, safe home that is basically termite free. Once a termite report is done, that termite report is broken down into a number of sections. The most two important sections you need to pay attention to is the section one and section two. Section one is an active infestation, meaning there's termites currently presently there. And section two is a high likelihood of an active infestation. Now the rule is, VA is kind of not super clear on it because what they say is, is section one is required to be completely repaired with a clear section one report, meaning all the repairs that are called out in section one are treated and cleared and they are provided with a copy of that clear termite. And what it says is section two, which means a high likelihood of infestation, is up to the underwriter discretion. Now, to play it safe, because 99% of the time, underwriter discretion is going to want to deliver that property to that veteran that is termite free and not deliver them with something that is very likely to have an active infestation. It is a very good rule of thumb as when you are getting that section clearance, you do section one and section two clearance on that report and provide a copy of the invoice of that completed work. Now, something that's very, very important is not only can the veteran pay for the actual inspection in these nine states, but the veteran in all the states where it's required can legally pay for the repairs. So there's so much information out there that says, oh, you know, the buyer cannot pay for any of these repairs. That is not true. The veteran can pay for the termite repairs. They just can't pay for the termite inspection report in any of the required 30 plus states except for these nine states. Why is that the case? Who knows? The government does some funny things. But if you are in one of these nine states, the veteran is allowed to not only pay for that report, but they are also to, of course, allowed to pay for those repairs. Now, when it comes to termite damage and those termite reports, it is very important to note that because termites do so much damage, over $5 billion here in the United States, it is highly suggested to be proactive and to make sure that you get Section 1 and Section 2 termite clearance before you try to get that loan to close. Because once again, if you don't get Section 2 clearance, you are assuming that you're probably gonna get that 1% of underwriters that is going to allow that to go through. And truly that's not in the best interest of the veteran because this is a highly likely infestation to take place. So to deliver your clients the best home, make sure that you're asking for section one and section two termite clearance if you are requesting the seller to pay it or you are making sure that that section one and section two clearance is given before you can get that mortgage to close. And if you like more content like this, please like the video. It really helps out our channel. Drop me a comment below. I'm happy to answer your questions about this particular termite subject or any termite repairs things. And make sure to click that bell and to get notified of all of our new videos after you've clicked that subscribe button. And I'll make sure to drop you guys some more fire content.